What's up guys, Brendan here. Just wanted to make this video to fill everybody in on what I'm doing. I kinda wanna start documenting my journey since a lot of things are happening. I moved to Nashville about a month ago and every single day new developments are happening. So I wanna start documenting it all so I can put it on video and post it online. So I've been getting a lot of DMs, a lot of texts from a lot of my friends and people who know me and they're asking, like, Brendan, what the hell are you doing? I thought, I thought you were an attorney. I thought you were practicing law. Weren't you in law school? Now I see you making random videos and putting out podcasts and you're living in Nashville? Like, what, what, what the hell's going on? So I wanted to set the story straight a little bit, kind of tell everybody what I'm doing and backtrack and let them know how I got there a little bit. So most of you know I'm living in Nashville, Tennessee now. I am pursuing a career full-time in content creation and entertainment. Uh, previously, I was an attorney in Maryland. So how the hell did that happen? That's a big question. I'll backtrack a little bit and explain. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm originally from Severna Park, Maryland, which is a town right outside of Annapolis, small suburban area. I went to the University of Vermont for college, played basketball there, and majored in history, minor in sociology. So playing Division I basketball in college is extremely time consuming. I mean, you don't have time for much anything, anything else aside from doing what you got to do for basketball practice, weightlifting, film sessions, you name it, training room time, and then your classes and studying for your classes, mandatory study hall. So you're very busy when you're a Division I college athlete. Most people know that. So while I was in college, I didn't think too much about what I wanted to do, what I actually wanted to do and pursue for a career. I always knew that law school was in the cards for me. My father is an attorney, my grandfather was an attorney. So in the back of my mind, I said, you know, I'm probably gonna go to law school, probably. So I majored in history. I wanted to major in something that is writing intensive because law school is all writing, all writing. So history, you know, you're writing a lot of papers. And I also enjoyed history, I was a history buff like it as a hobby, never, never something that I wanted to do full time for a career. But as a hobby, I think it's great. So that's what I majored in. The advice I received when I was in college was, you know, just major in something that you're interested in, doesn't necessarily have to be your career. That's what grad school's for. Grad school's for nailing down what you wanna do. You know, everyone goes to grad school, go to grad school. So I majored in history, graduated in 2012, ended up going to the University of Maryland Francis King Carey School of Law. Blah, it's a mouthful. But that was my first choice. It's in Baltimore, Maryland. Went there from 2013 to 2016. Hated it. Law school was miserable. But to be frank, most everybody hates law school. Anyone who tells you differently is probably lying to you or they're very odd. Either way, I don't trust them. Law school is not fun, it's a grind. It is a serious grind, especially your first year. You're preparing for classes, you're getting cold called on, you're studying for exams, you have internships during the summer, rinse and repeat for year two, rinse and repeat for year three. So when I was in law school, I never really found a subject area that I was passionate about, that I was interested in, that I thought, hey, you know what, maybe I could pursue a career in this or pursue a career in that. So I knew if I never found anything, I could always just go work for my father's firm. He had a firm in Annapolis where he did real estate. He, and estate planning and probate, he had a title company. So when I graduated, that's what I did. I went in, started working for him, doing real estate transactions, and I didn't really love it. Nothing really grabbed me. I didn't feel like I had a lot of experience in other areas. So after about five to six months, I took a clerkship at the Anne Arundel County Circuit Court, which is a trial court level, um, and I clerked for, with a judge. And it was a fantastic experience. I got a well-rounded uh, experience in terms of practice areas, and I got first-hand experience working with the judge as he's making decisions on these important cases. Even though I'm no longer practicing law, and I don't plan to, I still value that experience and very thankful that I had the opportunity to do that because just being behind the scenes in the judicial process is just very beneficial, I don't know. So I highly recommend that. I actually wrote a blog article about that, so you can, you can check that out over at thelawyerspost.com. But after my clerkship, clerkships are temporary employment. You do them to, as for an experience, get it on your resume, and then you move on. So I moved on and I went to Morgan Stanley, the investment bank, and I did anti-money laundering in their legal and compliance department. Sounds kind of sexy, 
but it's really kind of not. It's it's very monotonous work. Uh, I didn't really enjoy it. Lo loved the people I worked with. The my team there and the Morgan Stanley as a whole, the company was fantastic. Great place to work. It's just the day to day work that was entailed. I I didn't enjoy that. And I knew I didn't want to do that long term. So after about a year, I left and decided to go back with my dad to give it one last effort to see if this is what I wanted to do. Pretty soon after going back with him, I realized that the actual real estate transactional world, I still wasn't in love with it, but I started doing a lot of marketing with him. I revamped his websites, I got him on social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, started making a lot of marketing videos, I put them on YouTube, on Facebook, got a lot of traction, and I actually really enjoyed doing that. I started writing for uh, our blog, which is on the websites that I created. I started doing creative writing for him, posting on social media, and I really love the content creation element of marketing. So what I didn't know at the time, what it's called is content marketing. It's putting out content, putting out quality content, and trying to provide value for your customers. And I enjoyed doing that. And not around that same time, I got approached by one of my good buddies, Josh Elbaum, who I played basketball with at Vermont. We remained close after graduation, and he's an entrepreneur. He started a few sites. Um, he's the founder of thelawyerspost.com, which is a media, a legal media news site. And he approached me and asked if I wanted to start writing a few articles for him. I said, hell yes, 100%. So after writing for the Lawyer's Post for a few months, I started to put together a pretty good portfolio. and. I started to really realize that I didn't want to do real estate law. That's not what I wanted to do full time. Now, my brother lives here in Nashville. He's lived here for several years. I knew that if I was ever going to change careers, I would do it here in Nashville. I visited here a ton. I love the city. It's a beautiful place. One of the lowest unemployment rates in the country. Amazing economy. Fun place to be if you're a millennial and you're single and you like live music. So it checks all the boxes there and there's tons of opportunity. So once I finally got the guts to leave law behind, which is hard to do, after spending three years in law school, studying my ass off for the bar exam, passing the bar exam, and then just to walk away, difficult decision, even though that's what I wanted to do. My passions weren't in law, my passions were elsewhere. So I finally got the guts up and made that decision a few months ago, packed up my bags, moved to Nashville, moved in with my brother, and have ever since been pursuing a career in content creation and entertainment. So what is that? I've been freelance writing. I have a few freelancing contracts where I write for other companies, but what I'm really doing full time is creating content, video content, audio content, and written content. I have a, a blog, brennanball.com. I also write for the Lawyer's Post. Posting videos constantly on my Instagram, on my YouTube channel. And ideally what I wanna do, big picture, is something in entertainment, so creating content full time. Yes, I, I plan on getting into acting classes, into improv classes, and really get involved in that community here in Nashville. So that's kind of where I'm at now, and things have been developing very quickly. Every single day something happens, I take a meeting, things change, so I wanted to make this video and continue to make videos like this to keep everyone updated on what's going on, to document my process a little bit. Because not that many, I don't think attorneys, have made such a huge career transition. So this video is to document that process, kick off my vlogging series, I guess you could say, but I'm really looking forward to it. Very exciting things happening in my life. I hope you tune in and watch. Thank you so much for just tuning in and listening and paying attention and even caring about what the hell is going on in my life. I appreciate it, love you guys. Take care and peace out.